Hey everybody, this is Susie and welcome to Susie Crafted Designs. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my first design team project for Shabby is Chic Boutique, which is a beautiful store that's located on Facebook. Everything will be in the drop down box below where you can just click and be redirected to the store. Here is my beautiful design team projects for Shabby is Chic Boutique. I am so in love with this, you guys. I worked so hard on this. I really wanted to make something special for my very first project for Amy. So, hi, Amy. I hope you love this. And what I've done here is I went the Victorian route entirely. Um, believe it or not, um, my focal point on the first project that I made is this beautiful pin cushion. Um, and I just I have something here I want to... Make sure. Okay. Um, is this beautiful pin cushion? And what I had done was, is I was looking at a pin cushion that I made a long time ago, which is probably about two years ago. It was actually a pumpkin, and I was looking at it because I needed some pins to make for another project that I'm working on. And as you can see, this is really old. Um, this is a pumpkin that I made, and I thought, how fun would it be to just make a really big pin cushion? and not put the rope around it like it would be a pumpkin. So I decided to, sorry about that, I decided to um, stack um, two pin cushions together and make it look like, you know those boudoir type of um, powder puff rooms where you have the, the seat looks like that? Well, that is in the direction that I was going with the appearance of it. So I used silk fabric for the bottom which is a beautiful deep grape color. I don't know what it appears on the video, but it's a beautiful grape color. Um, I've also uh, made another one in silk uh, that's on top of that, which is a cream color. They are both uh, the same size. Um, I stuffed them with some um, pillow stuffing. And then um, I pulled thread through the center all the way to the bottom. So if you see if I turn upside down, you'll see the crease in there. And once I did that, um, I decided that I wanted to use um, certain products uh, from Amy Love's store. So what I use is this really beautiful, large applique. She's got these very big appliques that are about seven inches long. And they're all embroidered, and they have a lot of transparent organza in between. So you can cut these up, and that's what I did here. Um, I cut this piece in half, and I used half the flourish on one side, half on the other, accenting the pin cushion with the beautiful um, tassels that she has in her store, and the one that I chose, which, which I was given, which is this cream one, which is the colors I love to work with. And the center of the pin cushion, I added that beautiful Victorian button with the gold embroidery all around it and scallops with the black background and the little girl in the bubble in the center. And then I had added one of her really beautiful pearl floral flat back buttons in metal at the bottom. Um, I also decided uh, to make some really pretty flowers from silk. So I made one flower here and put it on the side, um, kind of almost like a, um, a carnation type looking flower. And in between all around, I have little flowers that were made and I pushed in between and glued them in there. Everything else is hand sewn except that. Um, I glued that in there. That was a kind of a last minute design. I put a little bow there which is actually on a stick pin so I can remove it if I wanted to. Came out really really very pretty. I actually have this um, flat back pearl from the store uh, connected with a stick pin as well so if I need to reuse it for something I can and I can use those stick pins and talking about stick pins um, for this spe specific project I made these really pretty Victorian style looking uh, stick pins and I'm calling it Victorian style I kind of really like the um, um, 
this beautiful gold here and then this one here that's like a a green stone and these are, are like um like the november birthstone the yellow stone very deep gold on a uh a pearl pin and they just simply go right in there I try not to stick them on top of the embroidery, but they go in and stay nicely. So this is a very functional pin cushion. And I wanted something to coordinate uh, along with that, not just leave it by itself. So I decided to make a really pretty tag. And with the tag, um, just want to get that in picture. Uh, with the tag, um, I didn't finish the back. I put it on this thing that I call a kickstand, which is like the back of a, a picture frame. I just made it out of some um, some cardboard that I had left over from a project. Um, and as you can see, this is really pretty. It's your regular standard shipping size tag. Um, you can see on the back that's a, a, a tag. I actually used two tags, one for the front, one for the back. And then on the base of the tag, I have this really pretty um, floral paper, and I think that's um, that's a prima prima paper. It's an old package that I have, a paper that I never used, and I really liked it because it had roses and it was very faint, and I liked the color because it was kind of mixed with like a brownish goldish green and the pale pink, so it was really nicely blended into each other. And along with that, if you can see here, I have the um, beautiful uh, scallop pieces that I used on that really big piece of embroidery over here. The little pieces that were left over um, I saved uh, and I put them on the tag. Um, what I have also done, you see this peeking out ever so slightly here, is a butterfly and the other half of the butterfly is up on top over here which um, I kind of like the way that it sticks out and I can move it and see how it looks it's very soft and very shiny so I really liked um, using the butterfly um, in this project because I was actually able to um, cut the butterfly and use it the way that I needed to use it um, and uh, with that said um, I wanted to highlight the beautiful laces from Amy's store with some pearls and some rhinestones so with that said the rhinestone pearl trim I decided instead of using it on a line the way it is when you get it in the mail um, I decided to cut pieces up and if you could see over here there's pearl rhinestone rhinestone pearl rhinestone uh, rhinestone pearl just to give you another idea of how you can use the trim uh, you don't only need to use it um, by using it on a strand which you certainly can you can sew it onto anything sorry about that um, and uh, it's beautiful and I thought that it would be a nice idea to share with you that you can certainly use it uh, by cutting it up as well and having it as accented or focal points on your project so finally I had made a couple of stick pins because I was going with this Victorian era and adding a, a beige colored seam binding bow um, up at the top. And of course um, I have these gorgeous colors in a mixed pink and burgundy of wild, craft, wild orchid craft flowers, just absolutely gorgeous. I have these really pretty... Um, tighter roses at the bottom and these hip roses here and some other large roses that I had in my stash just absolutely gorgeous I actually wanted to add a couple of roses onto the pin cushion and then decided that I was not going to do that because again I was trying to go the Victorian era here and have something look um, elegant and pretty um, and at the same time functional so if I was to start putting all kinds of paper flowers and whatnot on there I would not be able to um, use the pin cushion oops I'm sorry I'm using a tripod with my iPad so you see um, these stick pins do come out and I can just poke them here and it works really well and if sometimes I'm getting carried away making lots of stick pins I can use the top and the bottom to certainly uh, make as many stick pins as I need and have them in a safe place. So um, this is my beautiful design team project for Amy Love at Shabby Is Chic Boutique Facebook uh, group 
where you can hang out, purchase things, and share what you made and share what you bought with everybody in the group. There's really a really nice group of people that are in there, and it's growing every day. So I encourage you to click on the drop-down box below here where you'll find the link to the store, and you can go on over there and join the group. It's free on Facebook, and have a great time with me and everybody else and all of the new designers as well where you can find a lot of inspiration here I hope and if you have I hope that you would uh, please share that um, I have inspired you to go ahead and try some of these things especially these beautiful projects and I have to say um, her prices are really excellent um, I don't know the prices on these items offhand but I can tell you um, she has a really beautiful selection of things and new things coming into the store and things are just flying out the door so I hope that you love my project, my beautiful Victorian style pin cushion, along with its coordinating um, tag. And just to show you, I mean, I know the back doesn't look finished, but that's my kickstand. That's what it looks like. It's kind of just like the back of a picture frame. And I like making my tags like that because when I give them to people, I usually make it where it folds up and down. It's a little bit better, but nobody was really seeing the back of this because I'm keeping it myself. And so it can actually stand like a regular photo uh, frame. And um, and it looks nice, and I don't have to hang it up on string or anything. So oh, I also forgot to mention this beautiful photo. I got carried away with the... Um, with everything else. This is a Victorian photo. It's actually printed out on a piece of printable canvas. Um, so that's on printable canvas. It's a, a free photo that I got off the internet. It's one of my favorite. I think she's so elegant and she's so beautiful and it's a very, very Victorian vintage style photo. She's wearing an off the shoulder gown, but I, I'm not showing that. But actually, beneath that, I do have a layer of lace from my stash there um, as well. I'm just hoping I didn't forget anything else. And No, I haven't. And you can see these butterflies that are sticking out. They're so nice. I really hope you can get a chance to go on over there and try them also. They're really very pretty, very versatile. And I do really love the very large pieces of, um, of the uh, fabric uh, type... Um, Appliques are just absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, I use them here. So, so pretty. Really, really pretty. This I put this here to just give this a little bit of motion, a little bit of frill, a little bit of... I just love the Victorian ear. It's something that I've always really um, enjoyed crafting with. And, and Marie Antoinette, totally very Victorian. A splash of shabby chic flair. I just love it. So, um... This is Susie Crafter. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and please check out the drop-down box below, and I hope to see you again. Have a good day.